Good afternoon. I almost said good morning. Um, hi, it's Wendy from Ouija Arts um, in Honesdale. No, no, I'm in Holly. I don't know why I said Honesdale. I'm in Holly, 202 Main Street, Holly with Fatigue Lady. Um, it's been a long day. So we are live or you're catching replay, one of the two. You can find me at WeJoArts.com, YouTube, not that I'm very active there, um, Instagram where I'm showing a new piece I'm doing at the shop, and Friday night's here. So I have to take my glasses off. I can't, I can't see up close with my glasses, and I can't see far away without my glasses. It's like a big mess. If you pop in, say hi. Um, I'd love to know that you're here. I love interacting as I'm doing the live, for better or for worse. So there is often some chatting going on. Um, we are going to reclaim a lamp because I can. I need another lamp in my house. I don't know about you guys, but I hate overhead lights. So I have them on in here because kind of have to. But overall, I hate overhead lights. So we have lamps. I have two that I've already reclaimed um, in there. And one of them was shown on my Facebook page a while back. My cat was sitting in front of it. I really should get better lights. But this one, it was in my shop in Honesdale for a while. I painted part of it already, but it was that white one that always sat up kind of high, and I painted it. I'm going to say it was abundance. Uh, there's no, I don't know what lid made it onto this, but it's one of the blues from Paint Couture. Um, so I painted it up. I did dry it up a little bit. Yes, we're glazing. This month is about the glazes. But there's another reason why I chose this lamp and why I'm doing it live today. It's because a lot of people ask, how do you get into these little nooks and crannies like here? Like these are all nooks and crannies. It's almost like, you know, when you get these little nooks and crannies, you're kind of afraid to paint because you don't know how to get into them and you're afraid that the paint's not going to come out smooth. Well, it does. All you have to do, seriously, whether it's the um, emblems that get put onto... Furniture, I, they're not emblems. I don't know what they're called. The little decor flourish things that we attach to furniture, the molds. Or it comes like this. This I picked up, I think, at the Salvation Army, something like that. Or if it comes like that with all those, like, little nooks and crannies, it's really easy. Um, I know most of you probably already do this, but I do get a lot of questions about it in the store. So don't be afraid of the paint. Just jam it in there. Think of it as, like... I was going to say the person that makes you angry the most, but for being nice, just pretend it's the fitted sheet that won't go on your bed. I don't know. Just pretend it's something and just jam it right in there. Don't be afraid of it. Slam it in and go up and down, like go up into the piece as well as down into the piece and then just smooth it out. First of all, nobody's going to know into the nooks and crannies that it was jammed in there. They're not going to see any unsmooth paint. Second of all, it's the only way to get it in there. So you just really like, you know, you hit all the different angles and then you just smooth it out when you're done and you have a nice smooth piece. All right, so continuing the month with glaze, now that we did that, and I wasn't supposed to use that brush, but that's okay. Um, continue, continuing the month of glaze. So... I painted this probably 15 minutes ago. Um, this may or may not work. To be honest with you, I'm not really sure. I still can't find my cheesecloths. So I may end up actually swiping some of this paint off. If that's the case, I'll just fix it later. This side is pretty dry. That's the side I think I just painted. Yes, it is. Ah. Let me just fix that really quick. There we go. Let me turn it around so I don't do that again. Um, this is the side that's, I mean, it's basically dry, pretty much. And the two sides are, and down here is. But to get it into the nooks and crannies, you're going to do pretty much the same thing. This is my favorite black chiffon by Paint Couture. Love that stuff. Get another brush. I have to wrap this brush up on quick, though. And if you do catch this on replay, which most of you probably will, um... Because it's like 5.30 East Coast. Most people are eating dinner. If you do catch this on replay, just leave me a note. If you have questions, let me know. So, again, I just literally painted this. I used a, like a heat gun. Not a heavy heat gun, but like a little crafter's one to kind of dry it. So this may pull paint a little bit. 
normally you would let it sit overnight, preferably, um, and then do your glaze work. So I'm just, to get the glaze just into your like little nooks and crannies, you're gonna do the same thing and you're just gonna like slam it in there. Yeah, it's like a fitted sheet that won't go on your bed and you're getting mad at. Take a little bit of water and you can either, once it's been dry for a day, um, you can spritz the piece itself, but I'm actually gonna spritz my paper towel just because I know I just painted this and some of this paint's gonna come off. And you're gonna wipe. And now the paint is only into the nooks and crannies. If it's still too much, you just kind of take your, your fingers and kind of poke into it a little bit. I like the heavy glaze, so I'm fine with that. So we're just going to do the rest of this up going up the side. And I'm just going to slam it in there. I'm going to spritz my... Whatever I just had. Where's my paper towel? There it is. I'm going to spritz the paper towel and just wipe it off. Now you may get a little, see it pulled right here. I don't know if you can tell, but it pulled right on the side. You may get a little bit like on the outside because you let it dry for 24 hours. You can go ahead and spritz you're spritzing the piece, not so much the paper towel. You can spritz it and get it wiped back off. So I'm just going to do this going around, except for that back side that I just painted. Glaze comes in, um, it does come in the four and the eight ounce. If you're a furniture, if you're doing big crafts like this, like bigger pieces, you're going to want um, the bigger eight ounce jar, to be honest with you. There is a little bit of waste with glaze. It's just the nature of the beast because there is a lot of white back with glaze. See how pretty that looks? So I'm gonna skip this back part, put it over to here. There's a reason I say glaze makes everything better. And you guys only have one more live of me doing glazes and then I'll move on to something else next month. But this month was all about glazes. If I had my champagne glaze here, which I don't think I do, because I couldn't find it earlier, um, you can do two tone, you can do two different color glazes if you wanted to. That's always pretty. Okay, so that's all done except for that because I just painted that. Maybe we can get to that to the end. But now we need to do the bottom. So I'm just going to pop this down just a little bit more. And you saw me do this on the piece last, um, last week. I like the grunge. You can use the Van Dyke glaze if you like more of a like an antique type look. That over white would be beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And I apologize if you guys are all there doing comments. I can't see them tonight for some reason, and I don't have my laptop with me. I'm just going to get this side over here too. Now, if you're using paper towels, one of the cool things about paper towels, this one is a little wet, is that it automatically, it has like these little, this texture into it. I don't know if you can see that. That's going to come off on your piece. So you almost get like a little added texture, if you can see that. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. And then you can take, if you don't want a lot of glaze, and you want some, you can just take it, dab it onto your wet paper towel, and just kind of dab it around onto the top, like I'm doing. This is gonna be a really fast live, guys. This is what happens when I'm not actually having any furniture to do. I have a piece, but I don't have it ready. And the piece I'm doing at the shop, I'm not doing here, so that one I can't do lives. But if you go to Ouija Arts on Instagram, you can see it. I, every time I do something new to it, um, I put it up on Instagram as a reel, and it's coming out pretty cool. So you can check that out if you wanted to. So I'm just going to put a little bit more onto my rag and tap here.
And then see how it doesn't, I don't know if you can see, the light in here is not always the best, but you can kind of see around the inside here. I almost flipped off the camera. Um, You can see around the inside closest to the glaze didn't get in there. So what you're going to do for that is you're going to take, you can take like even a Q-tip and jam it in there if you wanted to, but I don't have any with me. So I'm just going to put some into my paper towel. I'm going to kind of pinch it all together and just kind of push it into with my nail. So that way I can get into that little crevice. Not that it's really super important. This is for my house. But. And then I noticed if I'm looking here, there's not a lot of glaze on this side. So I kind of want to fix that. I know you guys are probably like, can you work with a different color glaze? Ah, but if I had it at home, I probably would. All right, so other than this back, which is actually pretty dry, so I'm going to do this side too, I hope. I'm just going to tap it in because now I have glaze on my edges that I don't want. I'm kind of wiping a little carefully over here because I literally just painted that. Okay, that's a little bit better, and it now matches all the way around. So I have it all matching. Matchy, matchy, matchy. Um, I'm umming a lot again. I'm going to wipe my hands all up on something. Lori will probably catch us on replay, and she'll be so impressed I didn't wipe my hands on the pants. All right. One time I wish I could see comments. I'm sorry, guys. I love interacting with you, but sometimes Facebook apparently doesn't like me to interact with you. All right, you know what? That's not working. I mean, it is, but it's not. So let's get rid of this stuff. I am not kidding when I say glaze makes everything better because it really does. I will have more colored glazes at home, but if you know me, chiffon is my favorite because I just how I like things. I like the chiffon. Um, all right. So now I have glaze in places I don't want it. Kind of like sand at a beach, like along the edges here. I wanted these edges just to be crisp. So I'm going to just take a little brush and you can do this with your furniture too. This is not exclusive to just lamps. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull it up and the reason why I'm showing this is because it took me I, I don't know where my head was I really don't well if you know me you know it was probably like tired or something um it took me a really long time as a furniture painter okay so for whatever reason these brushes these little tiny things they're craft brushes right so I associated them strictly with crafting that's it, just crafting. I did not use them on the big pieces of furniture that I was doing. Yeah, that was pretty silly. I would try to do all this detail work with, well, I started with Dixie Bell, so that's what I was actually using was their brushes. I would try to do all the detail work with those really, the minis, they're like kind of thick. If you've used Dixie Bell, you know exactly what I'm talking about. For whatever reason, I never thought Crafting brushes could be used on furniture probably until about two years ago when I started carrying paint couture. Two, three years ago, I started carrying them in 2020, so it's I'm almost on three years now with them. Um, yeah, I'm a slow, slow learner. So even if you're doing the detail work on your furniture, you can use a craft brush. There, I told you, so you don't have to go through the same pain and misery that I did. Because, man, was it painful. I'm trying to do all that detail work with just this big old lump of a brush. And I couldn't figure out, like, I followed Tracy Fancy, CC um, Restyled, I followed Chris Donna, all these people, Leah Noel, she does amazing work from um, Noel Designs. But anyway, I followed all of them, and they were, I never actually caught lives in the beginning. It was just hard for me to do that. So I couldn't figure out how they got all of the, you know, the really detailed work. Yeah. You guys probably already knew that. Anyway. 
So I have one more little set to go. Little touch-ups here and there. This lamp, I probably got, I think I got it at the Salvation Army. It was a while back. I probably paid about $5 for it. I dry brushed it with some white paint. I don't even know the brand, to be honest with you. I did it a long time ago. It sat in the store, brush painting. You know, you spent a couple of bucks to get the paint, whatever. You don't like that anymore. You buy new paint. So probably this whole lamp costs about $10 for me to reclaim myself. We're in, you know, an interesting time where we're all trying to save a little bit of money. And anytime that you can save a little bu few bucks and reclaim something, my gosh, go for it. Stop down at the store, go to RegioArts.com or Etsy, I don't care which. Order yourself some paint couture. Now I sound like one of those, what do they call them, infomercials. And go to town. There's two, four, eight, sixteen, and I'm starting to add 32s. Most of the paint I send directly from my store. Sometimes I have to send it from paint couture. Um, just depends on what you're ordering and that sort of thing. Okay. So now see how that's just so much nicer and crisper with the blue. So for instance, God, I wish I could see your comments. I'm I'm having a I'm on a roll here, like with with the bed sheets slamming it and you know things and whatever. I'll be amused tomorrow morning when I go back through if any of y'all are making comments because I'm, I'm doing good. Okay, so you, if you're looking at it, there's also some. Maybe you have too much black on the outside and you only want that black on the inside. This is not completely dry, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's what I do. But I'm going to be smart about this and pour just a little bit into my cap. I said, I think this is Sophia. I don't think this is abundance. I think this is Sophia, but I can't, I can't guarantee anything here because my label's off. All right. So now you want, you think there's a little bit too much. Um, black on the out, still on the outside that you want that to be a little bit more crisper, a little bit more blue. Maybe it's white that you're doing with a little bit of Van Dyke, um, brown, whatever color you're doing. You decide you want this to be a little bit more crisper on the outside. Take the craft brush or big brush. It doesn't really matter. And you can just literally go over it. Now, this is not going to be probably as good. Let me, let me get a bigger brush because... This is wet still. This glaze is. Technically, you should wait for something to dry, but oh, when did I ever wait for anything to dry? The, the key to this, and I don't know if you can see, down here, here, let me push this down just a little bit. Down here is my, my um, paper towel or whatever the heck this thing is. Offload a bunch of your paint. Don't just dip it into the jar and go right to it. Just offload it. Yeah, this is not going to exactly work right now because that glaze is still pretty wet. But that's all you would have to do. I would wait to do that part probably until tomorrow. So because that glaze is wet, it's going to stay wet for a while. It actually has to dry. Unlike a chalky style paint, glaze will um, suck into that chalky style paint. With Paint Couture, it's an acrylic with a little bit of resin. And... It will not soak in. It literally has to um, dry on top. So I really need to learn how to stop saying um all the time too. I never used to do that. I don't know why I'm doing it now. So it'll, it has to dry on the top, from the top down. So you probably should wait, unlike me still messing with it, um, wait the 24 hours, wait until the morning, go back over it. If you want a little bit more of that blue to stand out, White, whatever color you're doing, brown. If you're doing brown, oh, there's a champagne glaze uh, over brown. It is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, so you'd wait till tomorrow morning, and then you'd go over and do like a dry brush. Just remember to take off as much paint as you can before you do the dry brush because it will, If you otherwise you're just starting all over from scratch, and you don't want to do that. So this is going to be my lamp. This is going in my living room, and uh, my challenge to you guys the rest of this month is to go ahead, go to Salvation Army, go to a Goodwill store, look around your house. I mean, I, we all have lamps that we're like, okay, that's really ugly, and we're just going to hide it in the kids' room. 
I don't know if anybody else does that, but I do that. Um, grab those lamps. If it's a really shiny surface, get some bonding primer. Um, we have that. I actually, for everything, literally everything now, I use the Pankatours 2-in-1 primer. It's a bonding and a blocking overkill, maybe, especially on shot like surfaces like this. But I don't like to buy multiple products. I don't, save yourself a couple of bucks. Get the two in one. So that way, if you need a bonder, you have a bonder. If you need a blocker, you have a blocker. Whatever, right? Um, go reclaim a lamp. Make your house beautiful. And it doesn't matter who likes it and who doesn't. All that matters, honestly, is that you like it, that you're happy with it. You know, I'm not going to get on a soapbox, soapbox here, but just your house. Do what you like to it. Make it happy for you. Don't listen to your husband. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's not the decorator. He's not. My husband's not. <laughs> anyway, so this is the live tonight. And again, like I said, I wish I could have seen all of your guys' comments. I'm sure there's at least two, maybe. Especially with the, you know, sand in the places we don't need it. So go do a lamp. Show them to me. Share them with me. I love seeing other people's work. Um, and I will see you guys down in Holly. This coming up week, month, whatever, or you can just hit me up on Etsy.com, WeJoArts.com, Etsy, and I'll get stuff shipped right out to you. And thank you so much for catching the live. I'm going to go eat some hot wings and pizza. You guys have a good night. Thank you. Bye.